The James Webb Telescope has just discovered the most distant object and this strange structure baffled everyone. The object is so unusual that it is once again challenging our standard models of cosmology and baffling scientists. It's not yet possible to explain how structures of this enormous size could exist in the early universe. There is something wrong with our theories, and we may have completely misinterpreted what we see in apux from 13 billion years ago and even further back. There is a lot of debate in science these days about truth and error. Is it so bad if scientists are simply wrong? Not really. It would only be bad not to admit these mistakes and to cling to old convictions for too long. The James Webb Space Telescope is revealing one discovery after another, all of which speak against the old worldview. But we are nowhere near ready to formulate new theories. We are still eagerly awaiting each new photo from the James Webb Space Telescope and new findings. Researchers don't like this uncertainty. They were used to being able to describe things in the cosmos as far as possible. They had their formulas, their explanations, and for almost 100 years, a feeling of certainty. But now this old certainty is breaking down and many branches of science are currently experiencing a crisis. The latest discoveries, which are once again causing a stir, show us in a fascinating way that everything in the early universe was very different from what we previously assumed and they are slowly revealing a new cosmological worldview. Hubble discovered the galaxy GN-C11 what hardly anyone knows is that Hubble has already identified impossible structures in the early universe. But at the time, individual discoveries of this kind were thought to be outliers. Now we know that this was a wrong assumption and that galaxies like GN slash Z11 were the rule in the young universe. It's one of the youngest and most distant galaxies ever observed. The JWST has taken a closer look at this galaxy and discovered even more exciting facts. GN-Z11 existed about 13.4 billion light years away from Earth. This immense distance means that the light we see from GN-Z11 today comes from a time when the universe was only about 430 million years old. That's less than 4% of its current age. The existence of GN-C11 puzzles cosmologists because it contradicts our standard theories about the formation of galaxies after the Big Bang. According to this theory, large, complex galaxy structures would have taken billions of years to develop. However, GN-C11 shows that astonishingly mature galaxies could have existed very early in the universe. This indicates that either other processes than previously assumed led to a much faster formation of galaxies and that these processes were much more efficient than previously assumed. However, this would also mean that somewhere in our mathematics and astrophysics, there are errors. Webb spectrometers can split the light from very distant objects such as GN-C11 into so many individual frequencies that precise analyses are possible. Now, for the first time, we have precise analyses of the chemical composition and distribution of the elements within the galaxy in addition to a purely visual representation of the galaxy. These are further important clues. If we want to solve the puzzle of the star formation processes at that time and the development of the first galaxies, GN-Z11 is fascinating not only because of its age and high degree of evolution, the galaxy also has the ability to act as a kind of cosmic magnifying glass. The phenomenon of gravitational lensing is caused by the immense mass of the galaxy. The mass bends space-time, the distortion acts like a convex magnifying glass, and the faint light from objects behind the galaxy is amplified. Thanks to GN-C11, astronomers can look even further back, and what they found was another surprise. Uncover Z13, simply impossible. Can you believe that there are impossible things in the universe? Certainly not, because the universe can only show us the truth. Our scientists are currently only confronted with the impossibility of their old theories. With a redshift value of 13.079, the galaxy Uncover Z13 once again puts our scientists in serious need of an explanation. Z equals 13 means that this galaxy was even closer to the Big Bang than GN-Z11. 
only about 330 million years after the Big Bang, Uncover Z13 was already radiating the light of billions of stars into the universe. This early epoch was previously referred to as the Dark Ages. Scientists have calculated that it was dark for several hundred million years after the Big Bang. There were supposedly no stars and hardly any light. The discovery of Uncover Z13 by the JWST demonstrates not only the enormous power of this telescope, but also the fact that the Dark Ages were apparently anything but dark. Web-sensitive instruments and advanced infrared capabilities can look back further than ever before. The high redshift means that the light of the galaxy has been strongly shifted into the red due to the expansion of the universe. The JWST's infrared technology specializes in light waves in exactly these red frequencies, and we would never have been able to capture and visualize such old light without this new technology. The Uncover project stands for Ultra Deep Near Infrared Cluster Survey for the Universe's First Light and Reionization Epoch, and it's one of the most extensive astronomical research programs of all time aiming to look deep into the earliest epochs of the universe and study the formation of the first galaxies and the epoch of reionization. Uncover Z13 will help to test theories of galaxy formation and evolution. According to the standard cosmological model, galaxies in this early phase of the universe should have been small and unstructured. But Uncover Z13 shows once again that our theories on the evolution of matter and the first stars and galaxies were wrong. Either matter developed in a completely different way, or the universe was not young at that time. Of course, Webb has also broken down the light from Uncover Z13 into all its components, once again providing valuable data on the chemical composition and physical conditions of the early universe. This information helps to finally understand the processes in the universe by means of chemical analyses. The knowledge about the elements involved helps us to understand what really happened in the past and whether the Dark Ages and the Reionization Epoch existed. Reionization has so far been regarded as a key phase in the history of the universe during which the intergalactic matter, which until then had been predominantly neutral, was ionized. As a result, the universe became transparent and light was able to travel freely and over long distances. Erendel, no star is that old. Let's consider for a moment how difficult it is to identify a single star in the early universe. Tiny dots of light on the JWST images are usually not stars, but galaxies. The light is so far away from us that collections of millions or billions of stars look like tiny dots. You can very well imagine that it's practically impossible to see a single star at this distance. But here too, the universe surprises us. The gravitational lensing effect can be so strong that individual, very distant stars actually become visible. In the case of Erendel, this was a stroke of luck because a massive galaxy cluster in front of it, known as WHL 0137-08, optically bent the light of a galaxy behind it to such an extent that this single star became visible at the edge. Erendel appears in the observations as an extremely bright point behind this galaxy cluster and is one of the rarest witnesses of its kind. Erendel is one of the first observable stars that existed in an era when the universe was supposedly just beginning to form its first stars and galaxies. The star, named after an old English word for morning star, was discovered a few years ago by the Hubble telescope. Here, too, the JWST has taken a second look to expand our previous knowledge. Erendel existed 900 million years after the Big Bang, at a time that astronomers refer to as the Cosmic Dawn. This star should therefore have been one of the first generation, but Erendel does not look like one of these first stars. In fact, it doesn't look much different from today's stars, and so, the star joins the long list of distant objects that show no signs of the universe being in its infancy at that time. Even if the supposed morning star is not actually one, it could still solve an important puzzle of cosmology in another way. By observing how the light from Erendel is influenced by the cluster of galaxies in between, 
Astronomers can better understand the distribution of dark matter in this cluster and thus draw conclusions about the large-scale structure of the cosmos. Our chances of unlocking the true secrets of the early universe improve with each such discovery. Each web analysis adds another piece, and soon our view of the cosmos could change in dramatic ways. Imagine if we really did live in infinite space, or if we discovered more forces of nature or even evidence of an intelligent creator in the universe. Einstein rings, they are true. Albert Einstein was considered a genius of mathematics and physics. Using purely mathematical means, he predicted a multitude of material phenomena in the universe even before anyone had seen these objects. Einstein took some known quantities, observed dependencies and mutual influences of forces as well as the behavior of light, and then he calculated. In this way, he came to the conclusion that there must be more galaxies than our Milky Way, and he was right. He calculated the existence of black holes, which were also confirmed many years later. And he predicted objects called Einstein rings. These fantastic rings were the last objects predicted by Einstein that were actually found in space. Now the JWST has even spotted the most distant Einstein ring ever. The phenomenon occurs when the light from a source behind it, such as a galaxy or a star, is bent by the strong gravitational force of an intervening massive object, such as another galaxy or a cluster of galaxies. The result is a spectacular ring of light. The discovery was made when the JWST mapped nearly 500,000 galaxies during an exposure time of almost 200 hours. Researchers hope to use the dynamics between these galaxies and their mass distribution to finally find out more about the true nature of dark matter. The oldest Einstein ring of all time was given the name JWST-ER1. In its vicinity, the density of dark matter seems to be particularly high, and many researchers hope that this discovery will finally provide answers as to how all these amazing objects were possible in the early universe. Click subscribe now and never miss a new video.